David. Welcome everybody to the wild, wild west, the state that's untouchable like L.E.N.S. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I see Pedro looking like Rambo, baby Rambo. Pedro looking like like Jackie Chan. Whoa, nigga. Yes. <laughs> All right, I see you, boy, looking swole. I like that. I like that. Do you exercise, Pedro? What exercises? Do you like to exercise? Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, well, right now, no, but yes. Me too. I enjoy so much uh, gym. It's my passion. It's my hobby. I love oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day, every day, Mr. Santos exercise every day. The king. Yeah, Mr. King exercise <laughs> every day. Can't stop, won't That's stop. Good. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Hello, yeah, yeah. Delia. Welcome. Hello, Lenin. Hello, Nestor. Hello. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Richard. Mr. Enrique. Hello, teacher. Hello, Kelvin. Hello, Clara Galvez. Hello, Mr. Rambo. Pedro. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. How do you feel today? Como se sienten? Good. All right, me too. I feel great. I feel excellent. I feel I good. I feel great Dan because. Uh huh. I feel good because it's my birthday. It's Woo! your birthday! Oh my God! Le vamos a tener que cantar. Sorry. Okay, everybody. Everybody. One, two, three. Happy birthday, happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday, to you. you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, uno, dos. My God. <laughs> ya queremos right. pastel. Yo yeah. Pero pastel, entonces. Where's the, where's the <laughs> where's barbecue, barbecue. That's good. Uh, and, um, did you receive any presents? Uh, no. <laughs> no presents. Mm. No. Did you do a uh, barbecue or meat or chicken or something? Pollo campero? Um, hand soup. Hand soup. Mmm, delicious. That's very Only good. Beans. Only beans. This, <laughs> Only beans. <laughs> okay. Did you, did you eat some cake? Did you eat any cake? Yes. My wife cooked the cake. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. That's no, that's very nice. It's the best. That's a good wife. Good wife. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, who can tell me what information uh, do you remember about yesterday's class? What, what information do you remember? Who can tell me? ¿Qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? ¿Qué vimos? Vimos los indirect speech, indirect question, direct question. What else do you remember? Countable nouns, uncountable nouns. ¿Qué más se acuerda? They use the tool. Tool. Too much. Direct questions. Indirect questions. Uh, indirect indirect questions. questions. That's right. That's right. So today we're going to do um, a little review together. I would like for us to work um, as a whole class. And we're going to be looking at the, the two and few. Okay. Uh, in what situation am I going to use two? ¿Qué me puede decir? ¿Para qué uso el two? Demasiado. 
para expresar demasiado, ¿verdad? Demasiado. Pero demasiado en el sentido que ya es, ya rebalsó, ¿ok? En el sentido de que ya estuvo, ya no hay más. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, si yo te digo, ok, por ejemplo, si yo te digo, digamos que tú vas a viajar a, a Miami y tú vas a, al, al aeropuerto, y te dice la persona, hey, sorry, sorry, you are too late. ¿Qué es la diferencia entre you are too late y you are, you are very late? ¿Cuál sería la diferencia entre estas dos? You are too late. Que uno sería demasiado... Demasiado tarde y el otro sería muy tarde. That's right. Very good, Lenny. En el too late, quiere decir que ya es demasiado tarde. Ya el avión ya se fue. Ya perdiste tu vuelo. Y el otro, you're very late, pero todavía te puedes subir al avión. Right? Llegaste muy tarde, pero todavía puedes montarlo. So, el too es como que ya te sobrepasaste del límite. Ok, ya no hay solución para el problema. Ya demasiado. El very solo como que intensifica la situación, pero todavía hay chance. Do you understand? Por ejemplo, yes. digamos que yo le pongo a Pedro 250 yes. libras en la banca. Y él me va a decir, oh, Mr. Santos, this is very heavy. Pero las levanta. Plau, plau, plau. Pero si yo le pongo, digamos, 500 libras en la banca. That's too heavy. That's right. Él me va a decir, sorry, Mr. Santos, that's too heavy. Right? Quiere decir que no la puede levantar. So, el tú y el very eh, es similar, pero un poco diferente. Okay? So, today, uh, we're going to be looking at the first section. Uh, right now, does anybody have any questions about the information from yesterday's class. Does anybody have any questions about yesterday's class? Alguna pregunta? No? no? Okay. Eh, I Vicky, just have a question mm -hmm. about that I asked in the WhatsApp group. The, the, I, mid, the midterm exam or the evaluations no. with adjectives and nouns. Yes, evaluation no. with that. No. Okay. That's what we're going to see right now. In this moment, we're going to analyze that section. Eh, pero ya son las ocho y diez, así que vamos a tomar la foto del attendance. La foto del attendance. Esta foto va a sus recursos humanos. Ok. Solo yo no salgo, está muy negro. Imagínate, no salgo en la foto porque no tengo lámpara. It sucks. Solo la gran sombra. Ok. Ready? One. Smile. One, two, three. Ok. Somos los que estamos. ¿Por qué me hicieron negro? <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the first activity, the one that Lenny was asking about, which was referring to this section over here. Build your English language skills yes. with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, right? Son demasiados pequeños para mascotas. Quiere decir que no puedes tener una mascota en un apartment. La otra, houses are too Too expensive. Quiere decir que no tienes el dinero para comprarlo. Demasiado caro. Or houses cost 
too much money, right? Cuestan demasiado dinero. So, en este caso, todo el too much money, too expensive, too small, quiere decir que rebalsa, que ya no se puede, básicamente, no se puede. Todos son negativos. Hi, ¿quién levantó la mano? Hola, Kelvin, dígame. ¿En qué parte están unidas? No, eh, están seguido, este, cuando le dio allí, este, too much, too much money. Too much money. Los... Uh -huh. Too much money. Eh, sí, sí se puede. Too much money, demasiado dinero. O tú puedes decir demasiada gente. Eh, por ejemplo, yo te digo, me, me vine para Usulután porque hay demasiada gente en San Salvador. I came to Usulután because there are too many people. Ok, many people, porque people es contable. Eh, si yo te digo, por ejemplo, tomé demasiado café ahora. I drank too much coffee today. Ahí le puse much porque coffee es no contable. So, puedes decir many con un con un nombre contable y much con un nombre no contable uh -huh. yes okay let's continue are you ready let's continue Vamos a ver el video y de, de ahí vamos a, me van a hacer preguntas para yo clarificar sus dudas. Let's get started. Los voy a poner en mute. Mute all. Ok, por favor, tengan a la mano a notebook and a pen. Notebook and pen. Right, so that you can take notes. Ask questions, vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, and then later I can help you. Ready? Let's do it. Hi everyone. By the end of this class you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you'll be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough, 
and 2. After that we're going to make evaluations but this time we're going to use nouns and at the same time we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following. That we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, 
um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then um, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. Okay. Uh, so the noun is parking spaces. And then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses. Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money, right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. Depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives, such as the ones that are here, and of course, following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then, of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. All right. So what we're going to do in this section is we're going to look at this example over here. And I want you to give me 10 examples. You're going to give me 10 examples, 10 oraciones. I want you to notice what happened. And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment. OK, and the examples are going to be using the words, repeat, comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious, 
okay I mean using adjectives such as the ones that are here and of course following the formula that I presented to you earlier today and I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns so uh, once again using the formula that I'm presenting to you today and then of course you're gonna find all right and you're going to be describing the parking spaces money, closet space, y privacy, okay? So me van a dar por lo menos 10 ejemplos aquí describiendo tu casa o un apartment o describiendo la casa y el apartment. Okay, you're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que avancen. De allí vamos a regresar a la sesión completa y les voy a apoyar. Los voy a poner en parejas. Tienen cinco minutos. Five minutes. Ready? Let's go.
Hello guys. ¿Ya terminaron o necesitamos más tiempo? Are you finished or do you need more time? Guys, ¿ya terminaron o necesitamos más tiempo? More time. More time? Ok, let's go. Three minutes. Ok, three more minutes. That's ok.
Bye. Néstor. What's up, Néstor? What's up, Lenny? What's going on, Ricardo? Richard? Hello, Veronica. Are you finished? Hello. Is sir. everybody finished? Okay. Let me, let me, let me, oh, I'm so sorry, Richard. Let me have your example. Nestor, let me hear your examples. Only one teacher or? Uh, three, give me three, give me three. Give, three. give me three, give me three, give me three, give me three, only three. Okay. Three examples. Okay, number one, my house are to call comfortable for my family. Mm. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. My house are too comfortable for my family. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Chair. Remember that two is for something negative. Es para algo negativo, el two. Ahí está diciendo mi casa es demasiado cómoda para mi familia. O sea, yo creo que nadie, nadie dijera eso. Mi casa es demasiado cómoda. O sea, que excede los límites de comodidad. ¿Qué? Okay. Right? No, allí sí no. Ah, ya, ya. Alent. Puedes decir es demasiado pequeña para mi familia. Digamos que son ocho personas en la casa y la casa tiene dos cuartos y una sala y una mini cocina. Ahí sí. So my, I can say it's small. Ajá, uh -huh, my house is. I can say too, my house are comfortable. My house is comfortable. O oh, my house oh, is okay. very my house comfortable. My aren't comfortable enough for my family. Ah, you see, my house isn't, house isn't, no aren't, porque house is singular. My house isn't comfortable oh, yes. enough for my family. Okay, Lenny, un ejemplo para el birthday boy, birthday boy, Lenny. Um, apartments don't have enough restrooms for family. Very good. The apartments don't have enough restrooms for families Hello. perfect thank you lenny kelvin That's kelvin kelvin let me hear one example no se le escucha kelvin no se le escucha okay my dog is dangerous okay my neighborhood puedes decir my neighborhood is too dangerous, right? Mi, mi colonia es demasiado peligrosa. Okay, Veronica. Let me hear one example, Veronica. Okay, teacher. For example, the COVID is too dangerous. Very good. Yes, COVID is too dangerous. Yo no entiendo cómo hay gente que todavía piensan que el COVID-19 no existe. O sea, todavía hay, todavía hay personas que realmente en sus cerebritos piensan que el COVID-19 es un... Eh, como que se lo han inventado o es un como que si no es real o sea I don't understand that o sea, I don't understand that okay thank you Veronica Richard Martinez give me your example cell phone is very expensive my cell phone is very expensive
All right. Pedro Ramirez, Rambo. Okay. Uh, apartments are too small for me. The apartments are too small for me. That's right. Yes. Delia, very good. Very good, Pedro. Delia, let me hear one example. And houses are as common as apartments. Very good. Houses are as mm -hmm. convenient. Houses are as apartments. Ahí está diciendo que son lo mismo. As apartment. Okay. Thank you, Delia. Mm -hmm. eh, let me have Enrique. Okay. My house don't have enough parking space. Okay. My house don't have or my house don't that. have. Okay. Do enough. I see? My, my house don't have. Ah, okay. Do I say my house don't have or my house doesn't? Don't have. No, don't. <laughs> en este caso, como house es considerado tercer persona singular. So we say my house doesn't have. So it's considerado third person singular. Doesn't. Uh -huh. My house doesn't have enough parking. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Enrique. And the last one, Aranya. My house doesn't ha have, oh, sorry. My house doesn't ha have enough for the garden. Very good. My house doesn't have enough okay. space for the garden. That is correct. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. The homework is complete the rest of the section and we continue tomorrow. Good night, guys. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.